And I'm gonna show you how to use the poppers dies, movers and shakers poppers. This is a set of dies that allows you to make pop-up interactive elements for the interior of your cards. Um, the first die out of the collection I'm gonna work with is this spiral. Um, as you can see, the die is pretty straightforward. Because of the way um, dies are manufactured, we couldn't um, have the blade cut through this tiny little piece right here. You'll be able to tell exactly what I mean when you use this die yourself. So you just need to cut that little tiny tab right there, like so, and set it free. And then you have a cool little spiral right here, all ready to use in the inside of your card. So I have a white card here, A2 card base, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some adhesive to the two tabs on this spiral. So I've got some adhesive onto there, and then I am going to put some on the reverse side for the other tab here. So one side of your die cut is going to get adhesive on one tab, and the reverse side is going to have adhesive on the other tab. So your adhesive ends up on opposite sides of the spiral. What you're going to do is you're going to stick this in here like so. I just adhered it to the top portion of the card here. And now you can see the adhesive is on the reverse side here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut my card and I'm going to press it so that adhesive takes here. And then when you open it, you have this cool spiral inside. I don't know if you can see that good here on the video. Now you may be wondering, okay, I've made this really cool spiral. What am I supposed to do with it? Well, you can adhere design elements to the spiral. And so what I have here are some various butterflies. I've got some different sizes and I'm just putting adhesive just a little bit on the centers of these butterflies. And I'm going to adhere them at various angles on the spiral. And you can see when the recipient opens it, they've got this beautiful 3D effect that looks almost like butterflies in flight. Okay, so that sums it up for the pop-up spiral die. The next thing I'm going to show you is this standard pop-up slit um, die. What this does is it creates a series of slits that allow you to create a very quick and easy um, pop-up element without having to do any measuring, um, without having to make sure things are straight, just very easy and straightforward. Um, what I've done is I created something slightly smaller than a standard A2 because this piece is you have to put a backing behind um, a card made with this particular die. So what I've done is I've cut um, the Hawaiian Shores piece just slightly smaller than um, a standard A2. My measurements were eight and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches and scored in half. And when I die cut this, you'll see there's a perforated line here in the die on the back. And what you want to do is line that perforation up with your score line in the interior of your card. So I die cut that. And after you do that, you want to do just a little bit of scoring with a ruler and a bone folder. So I'm running a ruler right here at the top and the bottom of the two longest lines that are cut with the die. Like so. 
am going to score along here and here. Now when you um, get ready to get this into its final state, um, you just want to make sure that everything kind of folds um, backwards from where it originally was. So I'm going to get this going here and just kind of flatten it like a sandwich. Like this. And I like to kind of take my bowl folder and get everything pressed down there. And this is what you end up with. It kind of ends up looking like a little bit like a chair. And I've got just a couple little butterfly accents here just to help you see what you can create here. But you could make, um, you know, a tree coming up behind the butterflies to go in this little notch here. There's lots and lots and lots of different things that you could do with this. see here how quick and easy it is to make that pop-up element with that die. And the coolest thing is after you get those elements adhered this will fold flat for the mail. So it's kind of fun to make embellishments like that and know that it will still fold flat for the mail. So that is the standard pop-up die. Um, is this happy word die. Um, there's actually a couple different ways that you could use this, but I'm just going to show you the simplest form. Um, what I've done here is I've cut a block of cardstock that measures three inches by five and a half inches. And I simply place the die face down on the block and uh, cut that. Um, you can also do this in the center fold of um, your card like we did on the last die. Um, this, because of the way the blades were on the front, we couldn't do a perforated line for, to help you line it up. But if you um, mark um, the very top edge of the letters, see how I've got little lines right there, and carry that line around to the back, you can use that as your reference point to do it on the fold. But we're doing it with a block today. It makes it a little bit easier. So I just die cut this. Now like the spiral, there's a little tiny piece that needs to be cut um, by hand because of the way the die has to be made. So just cut those two little tabs right there and there. Super easy. So that sets those free on those two corners, just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some scoring. I'm going to connect the um, top two lines with a bone folder here and then I'm going to do it just at the bottom of the letters and then I'm also going to do the very top of the letters So three score lines all together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the entire piece in half. And you kind of want to get the letters started just a little bit before you fold this whole thing over. After you get that folded in half, you want to kind of make sure your fold is nice and crisp. Like that, so you end up with something that looks like this, and then you're going to take each side and fold back the top and the bottom. So we do that on the other side here. Fold everything and the pop up element kind of 
kind of forms itself there. You can see the words now pop up. So what you want to do to adhere this to a, an actual project is make sure that you've got the word part bulging out here. So you just have this and this exposed and run a line of adhesive down those two tabs. And what you're going to do is take a standard A2 card base. And since I made this five and a half, whoops, I'm putting this on upside down. Since I made this block five and a half inches, it fits perfectly from end to end. You could cut it a little bit smaller if you preferred. So you can see I'm hearing the bottom here, just the bottom. And press this down and shut your card. That's the key with pop-up elements is to shut your card when you're hearing stuff so that you can reshut it after you have everything put together. And as you can see, after you have it adhered, you end up with this. And I picked the word happy for this particular die because you could add birthday, anniversary, or whatever you like. And as you can see, this closes flat to mail as well.